Today, I'm going to be talking about linking moves together. You can learn to link moves together on the flat ground by transitioning from hopping one tire directly into the next, but you should already be able to hop each tire individually before you try to combine them. The most common way to do this is to hop the rear tire over and then pull the front tire around. Hop the rear and pull the front. As soon as the rear tire lands, you have to be ready to pull up and pull the front end around. You're using that landing that compresses the suspension to then rebound and help you lift the front tire up. The only thing you really have to do differently is plan for it. So before the rear tire lands, you should already have a plan if you're landing, stopping and balance, landing and going, or landing and linking into another move. So if you're going to link into another move before you land, you should be ready to stomp on the inside foot peg harder. That'll get you ready to pivot in the direction you want to go. You don't want to land with your weight to the outside. It'll be very hard to pull back to where you want to be. And if you land centered, you're more likely to land balanced and to go straight. So you want to land with a lot of weight on the inside foot peg and be ready for the suspension to compress and pull your front wheel around. It's almost like you can lose your balance to the inside and catch yourself by bringing the front end back around. You just don't want to lose your balance too much to take a point. So it's a fine line on losing it just enough. Work on it both directions too. You don't need to land with the rear brake on for this, but sometimes it gives you just a little more time before the suspension rebounds in case you're just slightly off balance and you need a little moment to correct yourself. It can help in that situation. Now I'm going to show an example of when linking moves together can be used in a section. The line is over this log, turn before this one and back over the same log and you only have about six feet there to work with so you can't just go in a full locket you're going to need to hop first i'm going to try to do it with the individual hops so i'm going to go straight over the log start my corner but i can't full lock it so now i have to hop it's hard to get a very far hop with no momentum so i might need two rear hops same with the front might need two not even square with it then i'm back over now I'm going to roll in and use this log as my kicker for the rear tire and then link right into a front tire hop. Much tighter with fewer hops and a lot less energy and time used. The log is a perfect timing indicator. Gas into it, when the rear tire hits, grab the front brake, jump for your nose wheelie, land, pull up for your front wheel hop around the corner. You also want to land with the clutch in because you might be stopped momentarily before you land and then let the clutch out, pull up for your front tire hop to bring it around. While linking up hops together on the flat ground can really help tighten up your corners, it can also be used with other techniques too. Here I have a bit more of an advanced example. The line is to come in beside the ribbon here, these sticks are my ribbon, that stick is my gate to go that way and I have to go that direction. So I have to turn in here and go up this. But there isn't quite enough room to just hop both tires, get set up, you'd be stuffing into it. You might actually have to flip turn into that one, which is a very advanced technique. Another option would be hitting it at a very big angle, turn early, hit it here, but then you're setting your front into a very sharp angle. You might get kicked weird, and if you do get up there good on the rear, then you have to really try to turn it. So I think the best option is to do a floater into a zap. So to do that, I'm gonna drive in a little bit deeper, pull my front wheel up, try to get some rotation out of the floater, set it down into a jap zap, get some good rebound, land on top and land in the direction I wanna be going. Okay, if I drive it in straight, I have to put my front tire almost underneath this tube because the ribbon is so tight. My front tire is underneath, I have to pull it up, try not to go backwards too much, it could be a five. And then I'm in a stuffed position on a pretty big spot of the tube. If I go to the left, it's a big angle, so I'm better off hitting the bigger spot, less angle. Next I'll try the flip turn into the corner. It's a pretty big one, full 90. Sets me up again, a little bit bigger spot on the tube, front tires on the top of it, not really down into the face of it, not a great setup. Now I'm going to try to hit it at a big angle, turn early, hit straight by the marker, It worked, but I had to do some back tire hops on top to get the turn and land in the section. I was also very close to the marker. So now I'm going to float into it, drive in a little deeper, float, zap, straight over. To me, that's the best choice here. 
Linking moves together may start on the flat ground, but the potential is pretty endless. As the sections get harder, we are constantly looking for ways to blend techniques together because it saves time, energy, and it can look cool too.